Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching this video. I am using Google Pixel phone to record this video, so sorry about the audio quality. Um, I'm not using my USB microphone as I, I usually do. Um, what I'll show you in this video is HP X3 Elite lab dock and my Note 9 will be connected to this device and I will demo the DeX Station experience or DeX experience on this device. To point out uh, anyone who about to ask the question how which model it is etc um i done a lot of research online and read a lot of forums before i narrow down to a specific model if you're looking for this device and you want to buy something like this for yourself always make sure that your device or hp elite lab dock model number starts with the v8 so it's victor v and number eight only these models will work with a DeX station or work, will work with your Galaxy phone and you will be able to get DeX experience. If the model number doesn't start with the E8, is, you're going to be uh, super lucky if that device will actually work with your Galaxy phone. On the back of the box, on the box by here, uh, I can see that it's saying V8. The exact model I will leave in the description below for you to check it out if you want to get the same device as I am currently holding in my hand. I already opened this box. Uh, if you noticed, I published a, a photo in the YouTube community posts just because I wanted to open up quickly, test it and see if it's working just to... I was so eager to test out. I couldn't wait for to go back home and just do a proper unboxing. So it's already been opened and all the cables been already opened. Still, I'm going to open a box for you just to show you how everything, uh, let's say, looks or looked in the box. So I open up. There it, there is the case. Let's put one down here. And now the actual device. Uh, when the device arrived, it was in a sleeve. And now because there is no sleeve, it's hard to open up. So let's, let's do it this way. So that's the device. It's not big. Um, I would say this is about 13 inch. I actually didn't check the full specs. As you can see straight away, it's an amazing, amazing fingerprint magnet. Uh, I have two speakers, one speaker on the left and on the right. On one side, I have the battery check button. So it tells me how much battery got left. So two LED lights, it means about 50%. I have one USB type C connection by here and another one by here. Both of them can be used uh, for charging apparently. On another side, I have mini HDMI or micro HDMI, the USB Type-C, another port. I have a power button and headphone jack and nice chrome looking finished. And I quite like this color because it matches my Note 9. It's, it's, everything's in black. In the box, obviously in this package, there's just a manual and the reading materials. It came with a power brick. And the power brick obviously designed for United States because this device arrived to my front door, to my office front door from the United States. So I'm just going to plug that in here. And I have at home one of these devices, one of these. This is just basically USA, United States to um, United Kingdom, uh, basically the adapter. So I'm going to just take this and plug it in. It's a bit hard for me to plug in straight away because I need to use a bit of force, but it goes in and that's how... I'm going to charge this device and then I have this. This is basically the, the wall socket for the America and it should be a cable in here USB type C to USB type C but I left it in the car so I'll go and get that one straight away to charge it to use my phone so let's put the boxes box with all the items in there. Uh, the lab dock itself is being charged so I have about 50% remaining. So let's put that on here. Open up. Came with the, the sheet between the screen and the, and the keyboard. Just to keep everything scratch proof. And this is the device. So give me two seconds. I'll quickly leg it and bring my USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. So I have a cable with me. So USB Type-C to USB Type-C. First thing, I need to power it up. So I've pressed the power button on the left, left hand side and hold it for a bit. The actual device will go on. It's just a bit uh, I'm unused to uh, turning it on, on and off. Let's give a second or so. 
It is charged. Here you go. It's turning on and it's gonna start giving me uh, the information. Let me try to lower the brightness. I have two options. I can connect wire, wired wireless. When I'm trying wireless every time the phone screen is being mirrored so it's no deck station but the cable the wired one wired connection works perfectly so I'm gonna plug it in at the end of my Note 9 unlock my phone and plug it in in the back in the side of the um, lab dock I was, <laughs> was thinking what word to use so in a second or so the HP lab dock should pick it up the deck station so as you can see I have my deck station screen and now I can use a trackpad to use it so no extra cables required apart of one cable going to my note 9 and from a screen I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but there is thin bezel around it so it's very uh, I would say it's very amazing looking screen to be honest I'm not sure if this camera the pixel camera can pick it up but um, it is 1080p 1080p HD quality sadly it's not touch screen but that's that's just a, a minor thing and um, looks amazing I would say it looks very very brilliant very very amazing um, let me try to open a game for you there is a game which is called um, let's actually try real racing free let's try to run this game on on the DEX environment while I'm connected to the lab dock let me run again because first time when you're running real racing free it's always closes shuts down just to have a quick go I'm gonna turn my Xbox one controller and let's see, let's see how it goes with the sound from what I read online um, not everything's working straight away and why is the one all oh, right my, my controller can run out of batteries once again anyway let's let's use the uh, mouse so race no go back uh, I'm using two fingers to scroll left and right let's do amateur let's let's see if it's gonna work this is first time I'm running any game on this device so uh this is uncharted waters for me to be honest uh speed snap let's do a cup let's race this one <coughs> let me ch check just quickly what kind of uh devices i have connected okay actually no it is it is showing that it's connected let me try again okay it's working now weird so screen quality it's brilliant it's it's 1080p and this looks amazing i can remember here you go that's a obviously sound quality sound issues some of the people online mentioned that the sound is not coming through a uh, laptop speakers and sometimes not working on the phone speakers I just one of these things that I need to test it out and obviously I will let you know with the progress but so I can talk and drive at the same time so I'm just gonna leave the leave the uh, control on the side let's, let's shut the game so here you go X HP X3 lab dock version V8 model V8 don't forget that and it's connected to my phone and I have a portable deck station experience let's close that unplug and take it with me thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what else you want me to try on this device i have so many ideas now i'm going to plan to connect external hard drive external monitor see if i can do dual monitors uh, i'm going to try to actually connect pixel with the new upcoming android q version to see if android desktop environment works with it a lot of things I'm planning to test and like always uh, your requests and your suggestions always welcomed 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe, like I mentioned a couple of seconds ago. And don't forget, we, there is a subreddit group by the name of Samsung Dex. You're more than welcome to, um, to join this group. And I'll see you in another video where I'm testing amazing things on Android OS. Bye-bye.